Hey guys, what's going on? It's I touch stuff here. That's spelled with a zero or Kieran from SyncTech.com, and today I'm gonna be discussing and showing you guys how to make this awesome sun ray or starburst wallpaper in Photoshop CS5. Um, now the reason why I'm showing you how to do this is not because really I wanted to show you guys something awesome. Um, not only that, but I also had some issues with this, and I'd like to discuss them with you so you guys don't have the same problem. So here's what the end result should look like. And um, you want to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and delete this for now. And you want to go to File, New, um, and make a new layer. So let me quit out of this one too. Don't save, and just go File, New. You can make it whatever size you want. I'm just going to go 1280 by 800, and I'm going to click OK. And you should get this nice widescreen um, new document. And you should have uh, something that says background under the layers tab, and it should be locked. So what you want to do is you want to double click on it and click OK for the new layer. And now you can go ahead and edit on this layer. Um, now what you would want to do is if you are on the paint bucket tool over here on the left hand side, you want to hold down, uh, left click on it and hold it down so you can select the gradient tool. And that's what we what we will be using. I'm sorry. And uh, next thing you want to do is pick your two colors. One should be a really light color. Um, so say I want to do orange. Uh, so I'm going to pick this light orange and I'm going to click OK. And then you want to pick a darker orange, which I have right here, and uh, click OK. If you want the HTML notations of both of these, um, it's F E A D 57 for the light one, and for the darker one. Um, it's F49713. And then after that, go to your gradient tool, go up here to uh, how the gradient is set. And you want to make sure it's set on foreground to background, which should be on the first one. It should look like um, the one going from the lighter orange to the darker orange. And right next to that, um, you'll see a whole bunch of different things that you can choose from. The first one is a linear gradient, which is what we want. Um, if you put it on radial, and this is where I went wrong the first few times I was trying to make this. If you set it on a radial gradient, this will not work for you. So don't set it on a radial gradient. Make sure it's checked onto the linear gradient, and then we can continue. Then next, you want to have the mode on normal, the opacity on 100%, reverse checked off, dither checked on, and transparency checked on. So now let's just make this a little bigger so we can stroke um, the gradient well. And you want to hold down shift on your keyboard to make a straight line and click and scroll down. You can be careless with this because it'll make a straight line because of the shift key. Then let go and you have this nice gradient going from your darker orange at the bottom to your lighter orange at the top or whatever color you decide to use. Then at the top we want to go to filter, distort, wave. Now, all the settings might be different depending on how big your image is or other things related to that. But these are the settings that I use. I have number of generators at 5, minimum, wavelength 34, max 35, amplitude 73, minimum 74, max, scale at 100% horizontal and 100% vertical. And you want to set the type to square and the undefined area as repeat edge pixels. Now, what basically what you're looking for is to get a whole bunch of these straight lines um, like this, and then uh, when you have something like that, maybe these settings won't work for you, mess around with some stuff, but you want to have an end result looking like a bunch of straight lines right here. Then you want to click OK, and here we go. You can see I have a nice uh, bunch of straight lines, and the next step is really easy. All we have to do now is go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates, and just make sure that rectangular to polar is checked and you can preview how this is going to look so this is just a quick preview and it looks pretty good I'm going to click OK and there we go we have our nice starburst or sunburst effect really awesome hope you guys like this tutorial it's been I touch stuff here that's spelled with a zero please subscribe um, also to any businesses uh, real quick if you have any products for me to review, I set up a new email account, youtubebiz at yahoo.com. That's Y-O-U-T-U-B-E-B-I-Z at yahoo.com. So if you have anything to review for me, shoot me an email there, and I'll be happy to review it for you. So guys, it's been I Touch Stuff here again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.